Ankermag 651T and 652T models are isolated two-wire transmitters for process current input signals. The 651T is a single channel module and the 652T offers dual I.O. channels. The 653T signal splitter combines a signal input with dual isolated two-wire outputs. Process current inputs are 4 to 20 milliamp DC analog signals. These isolated transmitters offer reverse polarity protection and a small input voltage drop of 1.5 volts DC per channel on the 651T and 652T and 3 volts on the 653T signal splitter. Process current outputs are also 4 to 20 milliamps DC analog signals and are current limited to 36 milliamps DC. Since these are two-wire transmitters, 12 to 50 volts DC is required to drive the output loop. The supply voltage must be chosen to supply full-scale current to the load, 12 volts to the isolator, and any voltage line drop. Special features and benefits. The 652T provides two 4 to 20 milliamp DC process current channels in one unit. Each channel operates independently and is isolated from the other to prevent interaction between channels. The dual independent channel feature can also save space and reduce cost for panel builders. The small DIN rail footprint and the air holes in the enclosure give the ability to mount modules right next to each other. This ensures minimal panel space, helping to reduce panel size and installation time, thereby reducing costs. This also aids in smaller on-site enclosure installations where mounting space is at a premium. Also, the unused channels fill spare channel requirements, which can be used as a later date. The 653T module can be used to retransmit an analog input signal over two independent and isolated output loops to prevent interaction, provide power supply isolation, and eliminate potential ground loops. This module fits applications where two devices need the same analog input signal but need to be isolated. One example would be where a 4 to 20 milliamp DC signal is used as an input to both a PLC and a DCS input card. Both the PLC and the DCS analog input card provide 24 volts DC to power their respective analog input loops. And the ground potential for the PLC and DCS may also be different. So, the input to each of the analog input cards need to be isolated. The 651T, 652T, and 653T are all designed to operate in harsh industrial environments. They include RFI, EMI, ESD, EFT, and surge protection. Plus, these modules realize low temperature drift and wide ambient temperature operation of minus 25 to 70 degrees C which provides excellent accuracy of better than 0.1% of output span, and stability which ensures reliable operation in noisy environments. Other special features and benefits include quick release terminal blocks for easy installation, LED indication for power, operation, and configuration status, and 15 turn potentiometers for fine tuning adjustments. Two wire isolators the applications where an isolator is required and a power supply is in series with the output signal. The 651T and 652T transmitters and the 653T signal splitter provide this input to output isolation and are output loop powered, which means 12 to 50 volts DC provided by a power supply on the output loop. One application would be where a field device is sourcing a 4 to 20 milliamp DC signal and this signal is to be an input to a PLC, which is also providing power through an internal 24 volt DC source. In this case, both the field device and the PLC are trying to power the analog loop. This will not work. A two-wire isolated transmitter is required to correct this power problem. The 651T will take the sourced 4 to 20 milliamp DC input signal and provide a syncing 4 to 20 milliamp DC output signal, enabling the 24 volt DC power supply at the PLC to power the input loop. Location is also not an issue in this application. Since the output from the isolated transmitter and the power source share the same two wires, 
These modules can be placed anywhere between the field device and the PLC. Since both the input and output signal to the isolated transmitter are 4 to 20 milliamps DC, location of the device is not critical. Certain monitoring applications require tapping off an existing 4 to 20 milliamp DC loop to add a measuring or monitoring instrument. The 651T and 652T are ideal for this application because of the low 10 ohm input burden. If the isolator fails or loses power, it will not interfere with the existing 4 to 20 milliamp DC loop. The output of the isolated transmitter in this application can be wired to a field chart recorder or another PLC to enable redundant monitoring. Galvanic isolation is provided in the 651T, 652T, and 653T from input to output and also from channel to channel in the 652T and 653T. This galvanic isolation eliminates potential ground loops. Transient voltage suppression protects equipment from high voltage surges and spikes. And input filtering circuitry reduces noise effects on the analog signal. Here we show electrical hookups based on DC current applications. First, we have a two-wire transmitter field device. It involves the use of a DC power supply to power both the field transmitter and the input loop. Going around the loop and starting with the positive terminal of the two-wire transmitter, wire to the positive side of the DC power supply. From the negative side of the power supply, wire to the in minus terminal of the 651T or 652T transmitter. The negative connection on the two-wire transmitter simply ties in with the in plus terminal on the 651T or 652T module. The next DC current monitoring application is typical of a four-wire device. The loop is powered from a field device and no external power supply is required in the loop. For this application, the connections are simply field device positive to the in plus terminal and field device negative to the in minus terminal. Since the output is a loop powered 4 to 20 milliamp DC signal, the output connections are the same regardless of input. Going around the loop from the negative side of the loop power supply, wire to the negative terminal of the load. The positive side of the load ties in with the out minus terminal on the 651T or 652T module. The positive side of the loop power supply simply connects with the out plus terminal on the 651T or 652T. If you notice between the out plus and out minus terminals on the 651T or 652T module, there is an SNS or sense terminal. This is not a terminal to tie in a shield from the twisted shielded pair cable. A voltage meter can be connected to this SNS or sense terminal and the output minus terminal. Internal to the 651T and 652T module is a 10 ohm precision resistor that will convert the 4 to 20 milliamp DC output signal to a 40 to 200 millivolt signal. By placing the voltage meter on these two terminals, the 40 to 200 millivolt DC signal, identical to the 4 to 20 milliamp DC signal, can be monitored without disturbing the output loop. The wiring diagram for the 653T is similar to the 651T and 652T isolated transmitters. The input connections are identical to that of the 651T and 652T transmitters, whether it is a two-wire or four-wire field device. The only real difference is the input burden across the input terminals of the 653T is raised to 3 volts DC or 150 ohm equivalent at the 20 milliamp DC full scale input. The output is, of course, a dual channel output wired the same as the output channels on the 652T isolated transmitter. These output channels are independent and isolated, so each requires loop power from an external source, whether this source is an external power supply or excitation provided by the load device. For more information on electrical wiring or applications, you can download the operator manual information from Ackermag's website or contact the factory for assistance. Thank you.